Here we have 3 fourths and we're writing it as a decimal. So what we need to do is use long division. We put our 3 underneath, our 4 goes on, on the outside, and then 4 does not go into 3. So what I need to do is add a decimal, add my 0, 4 goes into 30, 7 times, 7 times 4 is 28, we're subtracting, I have 2 left. Bring down another 0, 4 goes into 20, 5 times evenly. Therefore, I get my decimal answer as 0.75, which is choice A. Number 2 here, we are taking negative 5, 6, and we're also converting this to a decimal. So we're going to use our long division. So we put the 5 on the inside, the 6 goes on the outside, and we know our answer is going to be negative because it's a negative 5, 6. So 6 doesn't go into 5, so I'm going to add my decimal, add my 0. 6 goes into 50 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. We're subtracting. I have 2 left over. Add a 0. 6 goes into 20 3 times. 3 times 6, I get 18. Again, with 2 left over, now it says round to the nearest hundredth. So I need to do it one more time, add a 0. 6 goes into 20 3 times. Again, with 2 left over. Okay, so now it says round to the nearest hundredth. So here's my tens place, here's my hundreds place, here's my thousands place. So I'm going to look at this 3. Since it's less than 5, I'm going to keep this 3 as just a 3. I don't round up. So I get 0.83 as my final answer, negative 0.83, which is choice C.